Today, I'm going to be reading Galatians 2.20. It says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. In the life which I now live, in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Listen, in order to live a life that is no longer about us, no longer driven by the flesh, we must crucify our flesh every single day. To me, I don't believe that crucifying the flesh is a one-time event, okay? So I think that every single day, we have to be intentional about crucifying the flesh, about not giving in to those fleshly desires, not allowing the flesh to control our mind, to control our deeds, to control what comes out of our mouth. So every single day, we have to crucify those fleshly desires and we have to intentionally feed the desires of our spirit, right? We have to be living by the spirit and not by the flesh. That's what the word tells us. Listen, and in order to live by the spirit, which is what? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control, we are going to have to be intentional about feeding the spirit. That means we're going to have to be reading the word. You know, every single day we need to be reading the word. And that doesn't mean that we have to read the entire canon of scripture every single day. No, that's not even possible. What we have to do is be in the word. Allow the Holy Spirit inside of us to bring the the word alive. If a word, if the scripture comes alive to you, then that is what the Lord is speaking to you about. So then you just take that scripture and you mull it over and you meditate on it all day. And you allow it to get down deep on the inside of you so that it no longer becomes just words on a paper. It becomes actions. It becomes words. It becomes thoughts. And you live that thing out. And that is how we crucify the flesh and not live by the flesh, but live by the spirit. The other thing we do is we must be praying. We have to be praying. And the word tells us to come boldly before the throne of grace. Now, I don't know about you, but I struggle with that a little bit. And I shouldn't. We need to be bringing our prayers, our bold prayers, our little prayers, our big prayers. You know, everything. We need to be praying to the Lord so that he can work in those situations in a way that only he can. Next thing, we must be fellowshipping with other believers. We have got to be in community with other believers. No, not every single second of our day, but we should be gathering with believers at least on Sunday and maybe communicating throughout the week with believers so that we can just stay encouraged, so that we can just stay focused on God and on his word and on doing his work. And the last thing I would say is being sensitive to the Holy Spirit. And if we're doing all those other things, the Holy Spirit is going to be very active and alive in us. And we are going to be able to discern the promptings of the Holy Spirit when we allow him to have dominion over our lives, right? And we get that by being in the word, by praying, by fellowshipping with other believers. When we are intentionally focused on bringing God glory, we will become more sensitive to the Holy Spirit. I hope that word encourages you today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much, Lord, for your word. We thank you that we have everything we need for life and godliness. Lord, help us to desire the things of the Lord. Help us to crucify the flesh every single day so that we can live by the Spirit and not by the flesh, Lord. And we just thank you so much for your word, for each other, and for the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Michelle, and I just want to thank you for stopping by my channel, and what you will find here is biblical encouragement that encourages you to grow and mature in your own relationship with Jesus Christ, and if you come here all the time, then I just want to thank you for allowing me to speak biblical truth in your life. Today, we're going to talk about the four things that each believer must do to live a life that intentionally glorifies the Lord. All right, let's get into it.
Okay, I hope that word encouraged you today. And if it did, please like and share and subscribe to my channel and do all the things necessary so that you can uh, watch more of my videos and just be encouraged to live your own life with the Lord. All right, take care. I'll see you back here next Wednesday. God bless.